Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mukbang. I have some of my homemade spaghetti. I have a breadstick. I'm sick, so excuse my voice. And I have a Coke from Wiggles. Or is it Wiggles? I'm not sure. And I think after a certain time of day they put the donuts on sale so I got a chocolate with white cream in it and I got a maple and I don't know if it has cream in it or not really but we'll find out pretty hungry I've been sick for a few days now and ugh I just feel good when I'm eating a lot of protein and drinking a lot. Mm. This is some really good spaghetti. Look at that cheese pull. I did use the quesadilla cheese that's from uh, Walmart. <laughs> I always call Walmart McDonald's. I'm just so hung up on McDonald's. It's not even funny. I'm trying to get a bite here. Look at that. Mmm. Really, really, really good. And fresh. I just made it. And I thought I was going to fall out while I was making it because... Um, where I'm sick and I think it's something like respiratory I'm really tired so I'm probably going to have a nap after I make this video Mm. I'm wearing a shirt that I've had for quite a long time today. It says, I'm fat, let's party. <laughs> um, a guy named Greg bought me this shirt. Greg, if you're out there. Thank you. There's some seasonings in this Walmart brand. Um, sauce that's kind of iffy, but it's overall it's a good sauce. I didn't feel like going homemade homemade today. <laughs> mm. I added a lot of um, garlic and um, onion powder and and then I added some real garlic as well. Trying to get those healing properties from that garlic. Mm, look at that cheese pull. Mmm. Mm. 
Weagle's Coke is so good. And if you have their rewards uh, club card, you can get any size fountain drink for a dollar. That's what I did. Trying to get too fancy. Mm. I'm just obsessed with this right here. I love my microphone so much. My microphone and I are going to do big things. Mmm. I am well aware that when I'm sick, I sound like a man. So good. I also added butter to the pasta, which I think gives it like a creamy feel. Mmm. I finally got a little setup that I'm enjoying. My computer's still over there, but I put it on a smaller table that belonged to my grandpa. And I moved my computer desk over on the other side of my room where the tapestry is. And um, I've got a dedicated tripod for my iPad, which is here in front of me, obviously. And I just have my microphone on my table. And I have a lot of rooms. It's a bigger desk. So I have my food over here. And um, my bucket list that I made earlier. And I have a little lamp there. But I tried the lamp. But it was a no-go. Because too much light on my glasses. I should have brought more spaghetti though. Hmm. Oh well. I can go back for more. I'm still learning about how much distance I need from me and my microphone. I'm still learning all the settings. Everything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. I do make some really good spaghetti, if I do say so myself.
Mm, this coat. Ten out of ten. One dollar. Which is a lot cheaper than McDonald's. Now I'm gonna try a donut. Not quite sure. I think I'm just gonna go for the gusto and take the chocolate one. I'm about to lose something. Here it is. Ooh. I love my donuts. <coughs> I'm so happy I got these and they were cheap on sale. Mm. The only thing is though is I don't like how they're open in a like you open the doors and get them. The reason being, I've seen little kids dipping their hands into them and everything else. I even seen a worker one time. She was rearranging the little thingy. It was late at night. So she was like moving them around and she actually licked her fingers and then kept moving them. Mm-mm. This was a Weagles employee, too. Oof. Yes, I'm well aware that this lot makes me look like I have no hair. Mmm. And two, sometimes they don't get a lot of cream in them. Look how much donut doesn't have any cream. Is that normal? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hmm. Yum. <laughs> I thought this one was maple it's not it's just it's got a glaze and I think it's lemon how did I do that it smelled lemon so that's why it is hmm I do love my maple ones so that's kind of a letdown but oh well Mm. <clears throat> mm. 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 
Mm. Oh, look at that. Mm. Tastes like a lemon meringue pie. Mm. Mm. On the way to, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. On the way to Weagles, I stopped and checked my mailbox. And the thing fell apart. I had to stand there and try and figure out how to put it back together. Hmm. That mailbox had me bending and everything. <laughs> Whew. At least I can taste it. I hadn't been able to taste anything for a couple of days. So I'm happy about that. I wish I had brought a napkin. I didn't. I'll get one in a minute. Um, I've been getting this question a lot lately. Um, I do a lot of shorts. And... I don't want to take this trash through the house. <laughs> um, anyway, y'all that watch my shorts, excuse me, y'all want to know how I afford all my fast food every day. First of all, I have feeders. I'm not even going to play games. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to be dishonest because there's no reason to be. I'm a truthful person. <clears throat> Most of my uh, fast food, which I do, <coughs> excuse me, which I do eat every single day. Especially McDonald's. It's my kryptonite. Um, sometimes I even go twice. For iced coffees and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I have feeders. And I buy it with my own money. I have my own money coming in. I might not be working. But I have a little bit of money coming in. Okay. <laughs> It's not a big secret or anything like that. It's just I'll lay it right on the table because people don't pay my bills and people don't pay my rent or anything to be able to dictate what I do or how I do things. I do have loyal feeders that will feed me if I need it. And I am very, very, very thankful for that because y'all can sit and put the blame on the feeder, but it is not the feeder's fault. We both just have similar interests. 
to me, my feeders are literally my angels because they are giving me what I need every day to feel good. Now, let me just lay it out there because you guys are always picking on me. I have a family and my family is well, 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 well taken care of. I take care of everybody else before I even take care of myself. I'm wearing, um, I will gladly go without shoes or wear holy clothes so they can have what they need and want. And I do that. So, I just hate it when people sit and try to make me out to be an uncaring bad person because of my choices. Now, if my choices were affecting my family in a bad way, I would, I would think about it. I wouldn't just go and, and do it, so... <clears throat> I'm a very responsible person and I take care of others before I do myself. So if a little bit of fast food makes me happy every day, I'm going to eat it. Okay? So that case is closed. I'll be doing a short on that because um, my shorts people were asking that question but I'm just going to lay it out here too because I have some viewers that I've had for years that sit and insult me on a daily basis about my food choices and frankly if it's not hurting anybody and if it's not hurting them they need to just click off. Don't watch my videos if they upset you in any way because that's not what I'm trying to do. I journal my food journey. I show what I eat because that's something I like to do. It's the type of videos I like to watch. And I'm going to do what I want, period. So if me eating fast food every day makes you not like me or you're not interested in me just go and don't spend your time making insulting comments because no and i think that's it i've touched on everything i wanted to i ate my food so i think i'm gonna hop off here and edit this video for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and my rant is over i won't mention that again so, I love y'all. If you need an ear, you know my email is in the down bar. Welcome to email me. Um, anytime. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.